uh, different types of coats to see to make sure that you get has the ones that you get are suitable for your body type so you have to try a few on now remember that uh, you're being judged from the time you get into the ring to the time you leave so as soon as you get into that ring that is where you are being judged uh, Boots can be wiped off before you get into the ring. Jackets pressed to keep it on. You don't have to warm up with your jacket on. You can have it hanging just be on a hanger just before you get into the ring. Get it on before you go into the ring. This is particularly important when you're going into an equitation class. Wear your jacket when you go into your equitation class. The hunters, yeah, we are when we're judging, when we're judging the hunters, watching the horse, but there's something professional and clean and polished about having the whole rider fit and the, the picture complete with a jacket. If you're riding without a jacket because it's hot out, yeah, I can understand that you want to ride without a jacket in the show ring, but if you can stand it for the two minutes or a minute or 40 seconds or whatever it is that you're in the ring, it gives a better picture of the horse if you have your jacket on. So uh, boots, tall leather boots, make sure that they're tall enough. It kind of looks very uh, unprofessional if you have boots that are two or three inches shorter than where they should be. doesn't give you a nice long leg. And if they have the Spanish cut at the top, which means there's just kind of rounded up, up to your up to your knee. That gives a very nice lovely long leg position for you. Uh, good quality half chaps they are also acceptable. Uh, leather grain, uh, particularly at the local and um, certainly unrated shows and the more local recognized shows leather half chaps are acceptable but once you get going and get showing a little bit more invest in a good pair of boots that you can wear at the horse show so that your leg does look lovely and long. Breeches, light colored breeches. I think one of the biggest faux pas I've seen this summer was somebody wearing white breeches in the hunter class that I happen to be judging and it just kind of looked out of place. Uh, beige breeches used to be a uh, big rage. I'm not quite sure if they're coming back, but lately they've been that kind of greeny olive color, which is very uh, nice color, kind of hides the dirt as well. And um, make sure that they're clean and in good repair as well. And comfortable, you know, it's important that you're comfortable. Your riding blouse, blouse or shirt or collar, make sure that you're, it's clean and that it is buttoned up. I think one of the trends that I really dislike seeing this uh, the last few shows that I've seen is in the jumper division where they're wearing uh, golf shirts or polo shirts and then for the equitation class they put a riding jacket over top of their polo shirt and they have an open neck shirt underneath their riding jacket and it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. If you're going to wear a jacket, put the effort, get a decent blouse underneath with a collar and a pin or have it monogrammed with your initials or if it's, you're borrowing someone else's initials. It's not a big deal but you know if you're going to take the trouble to put a jacket on then for heaven's sakes um, put a blouse and a choker or a stock or something underneath it. And of course, uh, the helmet, you have to have a approved ASTM helmet and in conservative color. So to answer the question, do you need to have a, does the riding apparel matter? Yes, it does matter. You should be neat, clean, and it should be in good repair. Now, if you want to get more information about what is required, you can go to colon www.unitedstatesequestrianfederation.org and they have the 
requirements for your show or if you're in Canada you can go to the equinecanada.ca and if you're showing your quarter horse go to the AQHA website and they'll have all this information for you. My name is Laura Kellen May and I'm from Thistlebridge Stables. I'm a senior judge and if you have any questions I'd love to hear from you. You can send them to hunterjudge at hotmail.com. Thanks very much and I hope to see you next week again. I'm just going to stop the recording now.